how small is Nano and why is the world of Nano so very special? My name is Rachel and I'm the Education and Public Engagement Manager at the Amber Research Centre and today we're going to explore the world of the very, very small with just a ruler and some things you can find in your kitchen. You're probably all really familiar with this, a ruler. We can use a ruler to measure things we can see, like this pencil, or even the black part of our pencil, which is called graphite. But how small is nano in comparison to that? Well, if we take the smallest measurement on our ruler, which is called a millimeter, and divide that by a million times, that's how small a nanometer is. But why do we want to make materials so small? Well, to explore that idea, we could test the same amounts of two materials. The same material, but something big versus something very small. But to be a fair test, we would have to have equal masses or amounts of both materials. I wonder what we could use from our own homes. What if we had two tablets? We could take a tablet like this and crush it up. It would be the same mass or amount of tablet, but it would just be in much smaller pieces. Because we know that when we put a tablet like this into water, it starts to fizz as it dissolves. That fizzing is actually the tablet reacting with the water to create a gas called carbon dioxide. And we can use this information to do a test we can test how quickly a whole tablet dissolves versus how quickly a crushed one does. So I've had a look around my kitchen to see what I could do this experiment with. The first thing we're gonna need is a jug because we have to put equal amounts of water into two separate bottles to do our experiment. You can use the measurements on the jug to do this. The other thing you're going to need are these small yogurt bottles. You're going to need two of them of exactly the same size and with lids that come off and go back on again. The last thing we need is our tablet. We need to have a crushed up tablet and a whole tablet. We're going to put the crushed up tablet into one bottle and the whole tablet into the second one. And the very last thing you're going to need is a basin in case things get messy. Okay, so we're ready to do our experiment. You can see here I've taken one of the tablets and I've crushed it up using the back of a spoon. And we have another that I've just broken in half so it fits inside our bottles. What we're going to do first, now that we have those things prepared, in order to set up our experiment, is to take our water and add it to the bottles just 50 milliliters, which you can measure out on your jug, will be enough. After that, we're gonna put in our crushed tablet and our whole tablet into the bottles at the same time. And then as quickly as we can, pop on the lids. The water reacts with the tablet to release a gas, and we can measure the time it takes for this reaction to happen. The crushed up vitamin tablet has dissolved much quicker than the tablet that I just split in two. So we could say that the crushed up tablet has reacted faster. But why? Why did the crushed tablet react more quickly? Well, it's all to do with the surface area of each tablet. That is the amount of surface the water has had the opportunity to come into contact with. If we look at the whole tablet, the water can only come into contact with the outside surfaces. This surface is the area that is exposed and can interact with the surroundings, like water in this case. But the crushed up tablet has a much greater surface area for the water to come into contact with. Just look, the surface of all of these small pieces their smallness makes the reaction a lot faster and a lot more intense. 
Now imagine just how much surface area we could create if we could just crush these small pieces into a million smaller pieces to really make a nanomaterial. Scientists at the Amber Research Centre are using the power of surface area to put nanomaterials where we really need them. For example, we're putting nanomaterials into batteries so that they can last much longer and store much more energy. We're also putting nanomaterials into medicines so that they work far more effectively and deliver medicine to where we need it in our bodies most. If you want to learn more about nanomaterials and nanoscience, you can visit the AMBER website at www.ambercenter.ie forward slash nanowow. You can sign up for free virtual science events and download more information about learning from home. <laughs>